Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering SQL interview questions that is recently asked in a Hero Motor Carp interview. If we look into our first question, we have cards table with the card numbers. We need to mask the first 12 digit of card number and we should see only last four digits. Okay, so these are the card numbers. First 12 digits are masked and we are able to see only last four digits. That is related to first question. Now, if we talk about a second question, so we have given an employee table with the employee name salary. So we should get all the employees with the same salary. If we look into here, Bob and Eve, they're both having a same salary. So they both names should get in the output. Along with that, we also have Diana and Grace. They are also having a same salary. Diana and Grace also we should get in the output. So if we're having a, a employees with the same salary, only those employee names we need to get in the output. So these are the two questions that is recently asked. So let's see how we can solve this. First question is related to cards. We have a cards table with the card number. We need to mask the first 12 digits and we should see only last four digits. So this can be achievable by using a functions like a replicate function and write function. So we will understand how replicate and write function works. First of all, I will talk about replicate function. So we'll take a replicate function so basically replicate function, it repeats the string a specified number of times. So let us say if I give here star and if I give four, it will repeat star four times. If I give this one, I see it is repeating a star four times. Now I want to repeat the star 12 times. So if I give this one, you can see star is repeating 12 times. So this I will take a, as a one part. The other part I will take as a right. So I will be taking a uh, the last four digits, which means the right side of the four digits. So for that, we can use a write function. So here uh, it will extract the number of characters from a string. So this is the card number column. So on top of this, we'll be writing a write function. We're taking card number and we want to extract last four digits only. So I can give here four. And if I close this, if I run it, now see. So it is extracting only last four digits, which is a right side of the card number. Okay. So from this five, six, seven, eight is the last four digits. From this six, seven, eight is the six, seven, eight, nine is the last four numbers and so on. So if we can get these two things, we'll be getting the expected output. So which means first 12 digits as a star and last four digits from the card number. So simply we can use here, can get, and we can combine these both results. This I will take as a new card number. And if I execute this one now, let's see if we are getting the expected output. So in this way, by using a replicate and write function, we can easily get the expected output. This can be achieved by using a, some other ways also. While creating a table itself, uh, we can do a dynamic data masking. By using a masked with function also, we can do that, okay? In case if you have any other approach, please post in the comment box. Next question we're having is related to employees. We have employee ID, employee name and salary. We need to get all the people with the same salary. Okay. So this I can achieve by using a self join. So let us say if you're having a this table two times. Okay. So we're getting this result. So we can join these two things based on the salary and employee name. Okay. So simply we can give here this table as a T1 under this table as a P2, okay? And uh, we'll be writing a condition where we'll be joining this based on a salary. So salary should be same in both the tables, okay? Now see T1 salary should match with a T2 salary, but employee name should not match. So if employee name should match, will get a duplicate records as well. So if I execute this one, now see, duplicate record. So Bob, Bob itself is saying that record also we're getting. So we need to avoid that. So we can add one more condition and we can give employee name t1 dot name not equal to t2 dot name. It should be not equal to. Now if I execute this one, now see, so we are getting only those records where employee salary is exactly same 
but name is different. So in this way, we can get all the employee names with the same salary. So we can take only employee name. We can give t one dot e name. Okay. So with this, we are getting the expected output. In case if you have any other alternate approach, please post in the comment box. That's all for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of intro questions and answers.